Pinnitus Batfish Care Guide Color, Size, Tank Mates and More Pinnitus Batfish Care Guide Color, Size, Tank Mates and More Written by John Doe and Saltwater Fish The Pinnitus Batfish is a beautiful and unique fish that is popular among aquarium enthusiasts. These fish are native to the waters of the Indo-Pacific region and are known for their striking colors and interesting patterns. Pinnitus batfish is a species of saltwater fish in the Ephipidae family. The scientific name of this fish is Kedot and Pinnita pinnies. Pinnitus batfish are sometimes also called leaffish or featherfin batfish. These fish are found in a wide variety of colors including orange, yellow, red, and brown. Pinnitus batfish are relatively easy to care for and make a great addition to any saltwater aquarium. This guide will teach you everything you need to know about caring for your pinnitus batfish including diet, tank mates, and more. Pinnitus batfish is a type of fish that is native to the waters around Australia and New Guinea. They are a member of the family Platycephalidae, which contains flathead fishes. Pinnitus batfish get their name from their large pectoral fins, which resemble the wings of a bat. These fish can grow to be about 30 cm, 12 in long. They are brown or reddish brown in color, with dark spots on their sides. Pinnitus batfish are found in a variety of habitats, including reefs, seagrasses, and mangroves. They are known to be good swimmers and can often be seen swimming near the surface of the water. Pinnitus batfish are omnivorous, meaning that they eat both plants and animals. Their diet consists of small invertebrates, such as shrimp and crabs, as well as algae and other plant matter. Pinnitus batfish are not considered to be a threat or endangered species. However, they are sometimes collected for the aquarium trade. The pinny batfish is a beautiful, laterally compressed fish that is dark brown to black in color. The body is covered with small white spots and there are two large pectoral fins that extend out from the body. The pinnate batfish is also known as the pinnate angelfish and it is a member of the Platax family. The pinnatus batfish is a beautiful, peaceful species that makes an excellent addition to any reef aquarium. They are hardy and easy to care for and make great beginner fish. These fish are native to Australia and New Guinea and can be found in reefs and seagrasses from 3 150 feet, 145 meters. They are relatively small fish and only grow to be about 12 inches, 30 cm in length. Pinnitus batfish are omnivores and will eat small invertebrates as well as algae. In the wild, they typically eat zooplankton and algae. In the aquarium, they should be fed a varied diet of meaty foods as well as plenty of marine algae. They are compatible with most other peaceful community fish and do well in reef aquariums. These fish require a minimum tank size of 100 gallons, 380 liters, and prefer a water temperature of 72-78 deg F, 22-26 deg C. They are not picky about water conditions, but do best in a slightly alkaline aquarium with a DKH of 812 and a pH of 8.18.4. The pinnatus batfish is a beautiful, peaceful fish that makes an excellent addition to any reef aquarium. With their striking coloration and easy care requirements, these fish are sure to be a hit in any home aquarium. If you want to own these fish, it will cost you about $75, $120 for each fish. Now that you know the species overview of pinnatus batfish, maybe this is the fish for you. If you have ever seen these fish up close, you will have an expert opinion on their appearance. But for those who have not, these fish are very flat and wide. Their coloration can be orange, yellow, brown, or red. They also have two large pectoral fins that they use to move around. Well, I'm telling you, this fish looks like a complete bat, with wings like a bat's money. But as it matures, it loses its childhood appearance and takes on a hole-like appearance. The eyes of a pinnatus batfish are very large, and they have a long adipose fin. This fish can grow to be about 8 inches long, at full age. They appear triangular in shape because of their large